Now to the war in Ukraine. Russian forces continue to pound railway facilities in Ukraine in an attempt to disrupt the flow of weapons into the country. The U.S. and NATO allies stand firm on the commitment to support Ukraine in the war, but Russian officials say weapons from the West are diminishing the possibility of peace. CBS 4's Skylar Henry has the latest. Firefighters battled a blaze at this railway substation in southwestern Ukraine. A nearby railway bridge that connects the region to Romania was also hit. Russia says it's using high-precision missiles to destroy facilities being used to deliver foreign weapons to Ukraine fighters. But Ukrainian officials say Russian missiles also flew at low altitude over Europe's largest nuclear power plant in southern Ukraine. Russia has also ramped up its bombardment in the east, including Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv. This shell-shocked 94-year-old woman asks, is the war over? Already sensing the answer is no. In Moscow, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres met with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Guterres also met with Russia's foreign minister, who'd earlier raised the possibility that Russia could use nuclear weapons in the future. Here in Washington, Secretary of State Antony Blinken appeared before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee to announce U.S. diplomats will return to Ukraine this week. He also asked Congress to approve more funding for more weapons to Ukraine. Fully funding it is critical, in my judgment, to ensuring that Russia's war in Ukraine is a strategic failure for the Kremlin and serves as a powerful lesson to those who might consider following its path. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is in Germany coordinating with more than 40 allies on how to keep the weapons flowing into Ukraine. Germany, which so far has avoided sending heavy weapons to assist in the war, announced it will now send in armored anti-aircraft vehicles. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. The U.N. Refugee Agency is expecting about 8.3 million people to flee Ukraine this year.